Starting a small hole. Six feet, seven inches. Number 37. Ron. The other four position. Standing six feet, 11 inches. Number 16. Paul Gasol. At center. At six foot nine inches, number 12, White Howard. At the point guard position, at six feet, number three, Chris Paul. At guard, six six, number 24, Kobe Bryant. The head coach of your home team. Fans, let's hear your Los Angeles Lakers. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. They've got Paul George. Collison is out there with Jones. Then there's Danny Granger. And it's Hibbert in at the five down low. And for Los Angeles, Howard is out there with Paul Gasol. Then it's T. Then there's Kobe. And it's Paul in at the one. And Doris, the quickness both of these teams possess should make this an interesting game. We could see a lot of transition play. Neither of these teams is going to be under the rest of the shot clock. I am curious to find out which team not only plays quickly, but does so without turning it over. That maximizes their possession. That team, I think, has a real shot of winning this basketball game. Now here's Paul. Outside, Bryant. Nailed from three-point land. And nice set there, making it easy for Bryant. He had that, that pass. Knocked loose. And Paul with a clear path to the hoop. Crops in the breakaway lane. Well, you see Chris Paul has been an elite two-way player for a long time in this league. Turn your feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now here's Granger. Pass to Hibbert. Lays it up off the glass. Ball outside. Pass to Kobe. Now here's Jones. Two free throws coming up, and they call this about Granger. He is efficient. Good, good for mid-range, draws a lot of fouls, and score even when the D has all of his attention. They have not been to a conference finals since 2014. And consider when they did get into the playoffs, they were bounced in the first round several times. Now here's Paul on the wing, Kobe. Fades. Roy Hibbert with the rebound. And for this Pacers franchise, Doris, they took a step backwards last season. Kevin, there's no doubt about it. Their worst record in over 30 years. Oh, but you know what? I really like what they did. They shuffled the deck player-wise. They brought in a new head coach. Sometimes you have to take that step backward to go two steps forward. So it's the Lakers now. Following the score by Indiana. And Bryant Kobe gets it to go. Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, Paul, the master okay. hitter that is Chris Paul. Allison with it, and it's Howard picking him up, and he gets contact okay. in. The really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Outside, Kobe. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Fades away. Again, Los Angeles. And Gasol excels from that mid-range area. 
First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Howard can't hit. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Now, here is our test. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Leaping up to the rim. Bryant sees the opening and does not hesitate. In the corner, Granger with it. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Lakers leading by three. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Hey, I talked to the Lakers head coach. He was worried about their interior defense. He doesn't want them getting gutted in the paint. He told his players, look, they're going to score, but we've got to make it difficult on them to give ourselves a chance to Sometimes win. Sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Lamar Odom, he's checked in for Howard. Barnes comes in for T. Brown, he's checked in for Kobe. And Mr. Moves, oh. subbed in for Paul. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Blake kicks to Barnes. Now the pass to Gasol. Brown feeling out a bit. Shoots from the elbow. Gasol controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And pass to George. Fires the three. The Lakers with the rebound. And here is Odom. Blake passes to Brown. So nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to Barnes. Kicks it to Blake. From deep three-point range, and it's James Posey with the rebound. Poor execution. That was not how they drew up that position. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as has to Odom. Two minutes remaining in the first round against George. Paul George with the steal. Here is Ford. They get a hand on it. And here comes Odom, late in the fast break. The 18-footer is right on the mark. And Odom covers it. And McRoberts kicks to Ford. The pass to Post. Here's Dunleavy, guarded by Odom. Inside. That's good for George on the assist by Dunleavy. Oh my goodness, Paul George. The Laker girl and team. 110 left for the play in the first. Barnes looking around. And a wide open look for AI. Basket is good to Vujicic. Here's Blake. Pass to Odom. Five to shoot. And the baseline jumper, no good. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. Posey passes to George. Goes up again, and that's two points on the layup. James it really has been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Indiana ball. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team. And he's good on the second. Eight seconds left in the first. Let's a floater go. And so it's Los Angeles. With a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And we'll be back with you shortly. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And boy, have they started out quick, running the floor, taking advantage of their speed. On the court for Indiana. They've got Jones, Roy the magician Hibbert. out there with Roy Hibbert. And there's Collison, and it's Granger in at the small. a treat to have a point guard like Collison. He is so effective orchestrating this offense. Here's Bryant. The Pacers making the shot. Paul with the bucket. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a big effect 
for the rest of the team. Advantage. They're not taking their foot off the gas. Here's Jones following the basket by Chris Paul. 17-foot shot on the way. Denied for the third time. He's 0 for 3. Launches a three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Well, Chris Paul, when he feels like he can get his jumper going, he's going to it. Such confidence in that shot. Here's Hibbert. Much better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Paul. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. And Hibbert with the block. In the corner, Granger with it. A three ball. And the Pacers can't get it to go. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass. Three-pointer. That shot off. And Indiana will come the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Hibbert finds Jones. Back to Hibbert. They need this. And that comes off the assist Roy by Jones. Hibbert. Hibbert's got four points now. At the highest level, you need your star players to show up right in the big game. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it is the will. And when things haven't gone their way, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. So it's the Pacers now. After the basket by the Lakers. Lock at six. Here's Granger. The Lakers with the rebound. Here's Paul. And there's the drive. Here's score Paul. the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. Elusivity to Chris Paul's play. He's got the knack to get into the teeth of the defense and make something happen. Mick Roberts misses. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Now here's Paul. He's got 12. Hibbert pulls it in. Hibbert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pacers trail by 13. Here is Nick Roberts. over Barnes, and it's sent back by Howard. There's a reason White Howard has so many old defensive teams to his credit. Good night with the block. Yep, that one goes. Kobe's got 11. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer. Just checked in. Now here's Jones. Releases. The shot by George, no good. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. They call good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Here's Bryant. After Danny Granger's bucket. Granger against Soto. Back to Brown. That shot, no good. Allison feeling it out of it. The feet to Granger. Good, and the assist goes to Collison. Danny Granger. He's got six. And they keep forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Howard, and it's Howard finishing it off. Five rebounds tonight. From 13, tries again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Jordan. I'll tell you what, he earned his money. Taking two That's shots. good from our test. The Pacers also changing it up. James Posey's checked in for Hibbert. Dunleavy comes in for Danny Granger. And it's the, they're on a 16-6 run. Here's our test. Here's Howard. That ball is in the basket. Now he's tipped away. Here's Brown. They grab their own miss. Howard, that's good. Right, Howard. Howard's Three. got eight points. That is a grown man move from Dwight Howard. Now Ford. On 
the wing, George. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Lakers ball. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. Lob pass to Gasol. My goodness, they say that. Pass to McRoberts. Six on the shot clock. To the middle. Here's Ford. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Artest the pass to Odom. Gasol inside. A jump hook. No good. Shot missing. So as we conclude the first That's half, so far fairly one-sided. Lakers ahead, opening up a huge gap. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. For the Pacers, they've got Chris Paul. Howard is out there with Pau Gasol. Then it's T. And it's Bryant in at the shooting guard position. That's the group. Misses off the right iron. Pacers shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Here's Collison. And that'll this be guy without getting too physical. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. First one falls. His teammates respect him. This guy is such a outside the arc tonight. Outside Gasol. Pass to Paul. And here is Bryant. Shot clock at six. Let's go. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. One of it is taking no prisoners on the offensive end. They get it back. Hibbert drops in the layup for two. Hibbert picking up that last basket over Collison. And they'll get another chance. And good that time. Kobe against Jones. Back to Collison. Some solid D from by 20. Opt up there for Howard. An emphatic LU jam. That's about communication between Timeout teammates. Dwight Howard, high flying as ever. Timeout called the Pacers. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Now here's Collison. Ranger left side. Outside, George. The kick out to Collison. Back to George. Hibbert trying to free himself up. And there's Paul George on the assist by Collison. Paul George. Amazing control on display. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. T might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. Now here's Collison. Right side, George. Pulls it from the elbow. And that one drops. George has got six points. Well, when you have a... Doesn't matter where it comes from. In that instance, hey, just catch and shoot. Paul passes to Barnes. To the paint. Here's Gasol. And finished off by Gasol. That's our test. Back to Kobe. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Roy Hibbert the two and missed two at the line tonight. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. Wing covered by our test. George, no good. Lakers leading by 19 points. Brown wide open. He fired. Connects from three-point range. Brown's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. George against our test. A high post shot. Here's Granger, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive. Well, you have to be cognizant of where people are when the shot goes up. Defenders not blocking out in that instance. Back to Bryant. Brown outside. 
Off target with his three. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. And the whistle blows in the back for Barnes. And Mr. Moves subbed in for Bryant. Indiana also making some changes. The magician is checked in for him. Jose comes in for George. And it's the beast in for Darren Collins. Here's Blake. Guarded by four. Artez dishes to Gasol. And stolen by Posey. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. It clears the lob to Brown. It's stolen by Jones. Fifty-one seconds left in the third quarter of the game. He dishes it to Posey. To the inside. And four. Trying to get open is Odom. Out to AI. Pass to Brown from outside the arc. Here's Gasol. They shoot again. And the layup is good. Oh, Gasol's got eight here in the court. And what's this? Here's McRoberts. Nice D from Odom. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Riding on in with a 23-point lead heading into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what is called. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Danny Granger out there with Roy Hibbert. Then it's Paul George. Then there's Collison. And it's Posey in at the three, the small forward. And the wide open shot. Kobe against George. For three, Kobe. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. The beast is checked in for James Posey. Four. Ryan in the post, guarded by Ford. Takes it from 10. Good on the jump shot. Kobe's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth. For the in the corner, Granger with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Indiana moving it around. Ford, no luck. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill. The three. Yeah, what about him? They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. To the wing right side. Hibbert, the pass to George. Six to shoot. He kicks it to Collison. A three-pointer off the mark. LA's gone six and 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Shot by Paul. Nobody around. Cans it from downtown. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to... And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Well, as usual, this guy Darren cooking Collison. on the offensive end. But right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Paul against Collison. Paul passes to Howard, and Howard with the stuff. Well, I'll say a running the kick and roll to perfection right there is Dwight Howard. Nice. And there's the pass to George. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And another great look at the 2K drive. Still going hard, and that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Four, no what? I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. And, and this planning what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. And the Pacers can't get it to go. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. A shot missing. Good D by Barnes. And Barnes has got the ball here for Los Angeles. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Now here's Paul. 
Back to Barnes. Good, and Paul gets the assist. That ball is 31% in the game. And it's time for an injury report. Well, guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of the Pacers. He told me that it looks like he sprained that wrist. Thankfully, no signs of broken bones. He's definitely out for this game, and they said there's a chance he could miss a few more games as well. We obviously hope it's fewer games. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see These any kind of injury, Greg. Yeah, and it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Vujicic is checked in, and the Pacers also making a change. Dunleavy's checked in for Danny Granger. Now, Chris Paul has been successful at the highest level in the NBA. And that one is off. Pacers shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Two minutes. Here's Dunleavy. Pass to Ford. Now Dunleavy. Shot clock at six. Yep, that one goes Dunleavy. in there. Dunleavy's got his first bucket. Here's the teardrop. The shot. No good. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster. Go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Kobe Bryant. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece Second of what they did. And Mr. Moves subbed in for Chris Paul. Darren Collison is checked in for Indiana. Here's Indiana. Now. Here's Rush. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shooting for Indiana. Grayson. First free throw. He makes one of two that time. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. And there's the pass to Blake. Doesn't go for him. And here's Collison who will bring it up for the Pacers. No good that time. Great D that time from Walton. Blake with it. And so it's the Lakers yeah. taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have Thanks that crowd be so pumped up. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. See you for Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.